Okay, this will just give you a quick introduction to the binomial distribution and how to calculate certain things in your calculator. This is a, a baseball player has a batting average of 0.33. That means he hits 33% of the time he goes up to bat. So what is the probability that he hits exactly seven hits? So we remember the probability of the number of hits being seven. Okay, so looking for an exact value. When you're looking for an exact value, that's going to signify that we're going to use the binomial PDF, PDF function in our calculator. Okay. So the first thing I'll do is take my calculator. I'm going to go to the distributions menu, which is above this bars button. So I'll hit second distributions. And you won't see it here if you kept, you kept scroll down. And you'll see binomial PDF. That's for exact specific values. So then it says how many trials? We're talking about seven at-bats. The P value is the percentage of each at-bat, 33%. And we want to know the chance of getting seven out of seven hits. So we have paste. There's our little display. And then it gives us a really, really low probability. This is going to be 0 0.0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 2, 6. Okay? Very low probability. Now let's say I want to know what's the probability of him getting, I don't know, four or less hits. That's going to be the probability that X is less than or equal to four. Whenever you're looking for a probability of being less than or equal to something, that's going to be binomial. See ya. Cumulative distribution function, adding up to four. So then we'll just take this calculator, go back to our distribution menu. I'm going to go to binomial CDF. Everything's similar, seven trials. The chance of success is 0.33. But now the X value means how many or less, four or less. I'll hit paste. So the chance that he gets four or less is going to be 0.9566. Okay. So those are the difference between these two. Now, what if I said something like, I want to know what's the probability that he gets five or more hits, five, six, or seven hits. So that's going to be probability that X is greater than or equal to five. Okay. Well, you can do this two ways. You can either say, what's the probability of five hits plus the probability of six hits plus the probability of seven hits, and that's that. You can use that. You can do that using the binomial PDF. PDF of five, six, and seven. Add them all up. You get that. Or you can use binomial CDF and say, well, the chance of getting five or more is just the complement of getting four or less. So I can do probability of let x being less than or equal to four, and just subtract that from one. So the only other possibilities here. So if I want to know five or more, I can just do one minus something being less than or equal to four. The thing is to remember is that binomial CDF in your calculator is always for less than or equal to a value. It's not that there is no function in your calculator for more than. So if you're doing more than, you either have to find each individual case and add them up or subtract the less than situation from one. So this would be one minus 0.95. Oops. 1 minus 0.9566, which will give me roughly 0 0.0434. Okay, that's generally how it works.